guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a flip through of May in my passion planner. Now this planner I use for content planning. So this is for all my social media stuff involving planning with gas. So YouTube primarily, Instagram, a little bit of TikTok here and there, my podcast, Pixels and Planners, all that stuff. I I was trying to manage everything in my catch-all, but it just wasn't working. I needed something separate. And I am so, so glad I got this because I am obsessed with this planner. So I wanted to kind of reflect with you guys on how I've used it because I've only had it for a short time and just kind of show you like what I did that worked for me, what didn't work for me, some ideas that I have for how to use it. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of share with you guys. So before we get into it, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not. Turn on post notifications by clicking the bell so you are notified every time I upload. And let's just jump right into it. Okay, so here is my May monthly. It's, it's not pretty, okay? I am not a big monthly person in my planners in general. However, I felt like I just wanted like a monthly overview of my YouTube uploads. That was really all I used this for. And then I just had kind of a few ideas that jotted down here. But as you can see, I didn't use any of this over here. Didn't really use this either. Um, and I know I could have like repurposed these. I just, again, I'm not a big monthly person. So I just wanted to kind of track my YouTube uploads. My goal has been to do two uploads per week. That's kind of where I'm, where I'm at right now with with everything and it's been working pretty well. I don't beat myself up if I don't do it. Uh, this is just a hobby, something I do for fun, so it's not, you know, something in the world. But I am trying to, you know, pump out content for you guys and have fun doing it. So this kind of helps me get a monthly overview of all the videos I did. So I can go back and see, it's like, oh, how many YouTube uploads did I do this week? Uh, or this month. So I can see here that I did a plan with me video in my catch all at the beginning of the month. Then I did art journaling for mental health, which is for a PC squad project on Instagram. Uh, monthly insert in my video game B6TN, which was tracking my villagers' birthdays from Animal Crossing. I had planned on doing a plan with me in my passion planner. That didn't happen. MCR B6TN art journaling in my black parade insert. I did do that. Then I had my May catch-all set up using the fight like a girl digitals and the magical plans digitals that I purchased. Um, and then <laughs> I had planned originally on having this video that you're watching now. This was supposed to go up at the end of May, but I just got busy and it didn't happen, but that's okay. And then a June monthly plan with me and passion planner. I didn't get that done either, but I am going to do that for the following week. So again, I try not to beat myself up. This is really just a loose schedule and just a way for me to get a monthly overview. And then down here, I just did some ideas, a little bit of spoiler alert, I guess. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing all of these. Um, I actually just filmed this one today. So yeah, I definitely did that. Let's go ahead and check that off. All right, so we did that. <laughs> uh, and then I wrote in the future, so things that I'm, I'm thinking about doing, um, shop with me at Dollar Tree, something I've always wanted to do because I feel like I find some bomb planner stuff at Dollar Tree. So I want to take y'all along with me there. So it's kind of like vlogging. I'd like to do some vlogging, kind of try it out. Not really sure what I want to go, like what direction I want to go in for that yet. So haven't done it. Reviewing past bait boxes. This is something I definitely want to do. I've been a subscriber to the Honey Bee Shop bait box since September of 2020, which is hard to believe. But I think it would be really fun to go back and, you know, look at past bait boxes and just kind of you know see which ones were my favorites which ones maybe i didn't like too much and just kind of reflect on that i thought that would be fun and then this one i really need to start working on this week uh breaking up with happy planner one year later and just spoiler alert that's gonna kind of delve into just me talking about you know how i was a happy planner stan and then june 2020 happened and everything got kind of flipped upside down. So yeah, definitely uh, be on the lookout for that because this time last year, I would not have been in a passion planner. And then art journaling in my Archer and Olive, I wanted to do um, something dedicated to George Floyd. 
because we just passed, you know, one year since he was murdered and he's been heavy on my heart and my mind. And I always think about the quote that his daughter said, my daddy changed the world. So I want to do that. <clears throat> I want to do that in my um, art journal. So that's just an idea that I had. And then down here I had um, for project MCR B6TN Black Parade Art Journaling. Again, I don't really use my monthly, so that's why it's kind of, you know, it's kind of like this. Okay, first monthly spread for May. So I, again, I have not been using this planner very long. So let me go back and see when I started. Yes, this was my very first spread. So my first spread was at the end of March. And I've really just been kind of experimenting and seeing what works for me and just trying different things. And so for my first spread here in May, I did utilize this box up here. My focus was to, you know, pre-film and schedule things out. And then I had here, I had create and then photos. So I was trying to track, you know, the things that I needed to create um, in order to, you know, make YouTube videos and do content for Instagram. And then I had photos to take here. Um, and so I had film and then I just used my mild liners to mark off when I completed things. And then I used a different color of mild liner just cause it matched with the spread um, to kind of track like the times and actually utilize the times. And um, cause a lot of times like, I feel like, and especially here at the beginning, I felt like I just needed to cover up the time spot. Like here, I just completely covered it up because I was still just trying to figure out how I wanted to use this planner. But I really, I like the time. I'm normally not an hourly person, but it really has been working out great for me. Um, so yeah, so this is what I did this week. Um, I did get a lot accomplished, but something I was kind of struggling with was separating like what's for YouTube, what's for Instagram, what's for the podcast. It's all just kind of there. So something I tried. And then we move into the next week. And I had tried to do some color coding. That's something I used to do all the time was color code in my planners. And so I tried to do, and I totally like jacked this up, but I just, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. It's functional, right? So I had YouTube and I'd split it up like into, you know, green for film and then pink for post, like when the video goes live. And then I had Instagram purple for film and blue for post. It just, I felt like I was making things harder. Like it was, I was just making things more complicated for myself and it didn't work in my brain. But I learned that by trying it. Um, and then I just had over here, I would just put like videos I was gonna film, ideas, to do's, things over here. Um, yeah, I had like, I used my Today's focus, you know, film YouTube videos. That was filming day, film reels. Um, I had the two month anniversary of my podcast here. So I, you know, I tried it. Uh, some of it worked, some of it didn't. So then, you know, whatever, when something doesn't work, don't get discouraged. You just flip the page. We're on to a new week. It's not a big deal. This week worked out pretty well. Um, I tried to, so you can see that I did the today's focus. So I really tried like, okay, Mondays I usually leave to like not do very much because I'm just not, I'm not super productive on Mondays. I'm I'm really focused on um, my full-time job during the day. And then at night when I normally do all of this, like Mondays, it's just not the day for me, uh, usually. <laughs> so um, I just filmed one reel and that was all I did. And then Tuesday I had his filming day for YouTube, uh, make stickers and then film a video, uh, record and edit on this day. So. I also had photograph my spreads, record my podcast, all that stuff. Um, and this worked to an extent, but I feel like with, and you'll, uh, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll get there in a second. So I decided to just cover these up and use this as a big like to-do list uh, just cause I had the sticker and I thought it looked cool. Um, and then here I just had a little thing that I wrote to remember. It's about quality over quantity, that 30 engaged followers is better than 1,000 randos or just random followers. 
And then good things that happened. I did write that Passion Planner commented on my post. That made me happy. Slow and steady growth. I have to remember that. Sometimes I can get very easily discouraged. Um, and then here, this is when I had an epiphany. I wrote, put to do's in the bottom left and then use the actual layout to track when things will post. And I did, I wrote here that I reached 232 subscribers. So that was like a milestone, you know, 230 was a, a, a milestone. So I wrote that down there. And then for this week, this is when, I know it's kind of barren, but this is when I figured out, okay, this is how I want to use this. I just had a really crazy busy week this week, like outside of all this. So I didn't use my planner too much, but I used it enough to where I felt like I was getting things done. So here I marked good things that happened, 243 subscribers, inspired someone to create a video game planner, shout out Kimberly, <laughs> 977 YouTube views this month, 25 subscribers gained, 95.6 watch time hours. So I just, I like to write things like that. I know, I know it's bad to like obsess over numbers and I try not to obsess at all. But I do think it's good sometimes to, to look at them and say, like, when you feel like, oh, I'm just, I only gained like two subscribers this week. I'm not doing enough. I'm not working hard enough. And then you look at, at things and you're like, oh, you know what? 95 hours, like 977 views. Like, I know it's not a lot, but compared to where I started, I've only been doing this a short time. It's just, it's cool to see to see it grow. Um, and so down here, I came up with this little system. So I had create, and that's just the things that I was going to, to create. So I had Demolition Lovers 2 digital coloring. This was my main time suck for this week, and I made a sticker out of it, okay? I gotta say, I'm very, very proud of it. I'm just, I'm super happy. I'm very, I'm <laughs> very proud of it. Um, and that's what took up the bulk of my free time last week was I had drawn this like weeks and weeks ago. I had just kind of sketched it out and then I brought it into Photoshop and was making adjustments and coloring it and this took hours. So that was a big thing that I worked on. And then I was working on a sketch from Last of Us Part Two. I'm still not done with it, but I started. And then I had this section for filming and I did do color coding here. So I had YouTube in red and then purple uh, was Instagram. And so I filmed a catch-all makeover. I did do that and then I had edit here. So I would film it, check it off, and then edit it, check it off. Um, and then I had just a couple video ideas for filming and then May 2021 Passion Planner flip through is what you're watching right now. Um, and then here, I just like to highlight. So here I posted a reel and I wanted to just kind of like highlight because I thought this was cool good for me uh 1700 views on the reel 97 likes which again for me is very good and passion player commented on it and i hit 1100 followers that day on instagram and then down here um i just wrote i made that and then ideas and then i just had a couple things i was jotting down for making stickers or something and that leads us to the week we're currently in so it's only tuesday as i am filming this by the time you see it not exactly sure when that's going to be yet. Um, but it's only Tuesday right now, so we're on the 1st. And I just started using this. I was off for Memorial Day, a friend was in town, so I didn't spend any time creating content or anything like that. So I wasn't, like, none of my planners were open until today. So I think I have figured out my system. So you can kind of see through May how I have tried things. Some things didn't work. I tried color coding. In theory, I love that, but it wasn't really working. And this is what I think I wanna do now, okay? So I broke this up into four sections and I just covered up with some black washi tape. It's very simple. I have no stickers in here this week. It might end up having stickers, it might not. Um, some weeks, you know, it's all I can do to put stickers in my catch-all, much less in here. Last week, you can see, you know, it was very bare, um, but sometimes that's just what you need. Sometimes you, that's all you need. So I have here film. So I have a film box and then I put on the side YouTube and then reels, which is Instagram, obviously. So I had film and I can actually go in here 
and do this live with y'all. Do it live. Do it live. We're gonna do this live. Made Bay Box unboxing. Did that. Fight Like a Girl haul. Did that. May 2021 Pageant Player Flip. We're doing that right now. And then part two moth sketch, I'm gonna do later in this week. And then reels, uh, just a couple ideas that I had. Be sure to follow me on Instagram to uh, check those out. Um, and then here I have edit. So once, you know, I've filmed stuff or I've created, you know, the reels when I need to go in and edit them, I'll write that here as well, just so that I could check off film and edit separately, particularly with YouTube. And then create any kind of ideas I have for things that I wanna create. Uh, maybe I, you know, I'm like, oh, I really want to make a new dashboard for my traveler's notebook. I can put that here and just, just keep track of things like that. So I can keep track of, you know, what I want to film, what I don't want to film, what I want to photograph and all that stuff. And then we have photos down here so I can track the photos that I want to post on Instagram. Again, sometimes things are, are sporadic, but there are certain things that I like to just kind of like make sure that I post or plan on posting. So I'll put them in that box. And then in this section up here where we have the hourly layout, this is where I'm going to write, okay, this video is going up at this time. And that's what I tried this week and it really worked out. Again, I know I didn't have a lot going on, but it was really nice to be able to see like, okay, Monday, this video went up at six o'clock. Tuesday, this graphic went up at nine. This reel went up at noon. Thursday, this reel went up at 1 p.m. Like, it was kind of nice to to be able to see that that way and not have like to-dos in here. And, you know, I could, another thing I can do is, you know, maybe if one night I know I'm not gonna do anything from like 4.30 to 10.30 here, I could just cover that up and block this out and use it for to-dos. There's a lot that you can do, um, but really, and I know this is gonna change over time, but <laughs> right now what's working for me in my brain is to have this hourly session and write, you know, Wednesday, this video goes live at noon. Uh, you know, just to kind of have this just for when things are going up and not for to-dos. Because the to-dos that I have are all down here. And I don't write in things like create thumbnail. That stuff is just, it's just like, I know, like it's assumed, like if I'm filming and editing a video, it's assumed that I'm exporting the video. I'm uploading it, I'm making a thumbnail. Like that stuff's just second nature, so I don't really feel like I need to write that down. Maybe you do, that's fine. Um, and then I have this space of infinite possibility to put whatever the heck I want. I can put a bunch of to-dos, I can put chicken scratch, I can do whatever I want. And then if I don't wanna use this as good things that happen, I could cover that with a piece of washi and just use this box. Sometimes I will just put a sticker in it. Just I, I just covered those with stickers that week. Um, so yeah, so this is really, you know, we're on June 1st now as of the day of filming. And then we go into our monthly reflection. And this, I know I'm, I'm kind of bad. So again, I've only had this planner for a couple months, but I just want to show you how I used it for March. Okay, so I didn't do every question. And that's okay. okay. I'm not gonna beat myself up. I'm not gonna be like, oh, why didn't you do that? It's stupid, you should have filled it in. I just want to at least use the parts that, or you know, utilize the questions that really kind of speak to me. Um, and like this, this end of the month checklist, like I haven't done it. And I know that I can, but it's nice to have flexibility and not just, I don't beat myself up over it. Um, so this was my first month in my passion planner. And what I wrote down here, this question was, what did you accomplish this past month and what are you most proud of? And I wrote, I filmed, edited, and published six YouTube videos in March alone and I'm super proud of that. So I think it's important to, you know, point out things like that and focus on, you know, cause it's so easy to focus on like, oh, I didn't do this. I didn't get enough done. I didn't do this, but it's, you need to focus on what you did do. And then here, what or who are you especially grateful for this month? I wrote, I'm especially grateful for Queen. I'm so glad Instagram brought us together. She's become one of my closest friends. I'm also grateful for all my followers and subscribers. I love when someone says I've inspired them to try something in their planner or journal. And then name three things you can improve on this upcoming month. 
What concrete actions can you take to work toward these improvements? So number one here, work smarter, not harder. Focus on one thing each day rather than trying to do everything in one day. So like today, for example, I filmed three videos and it's very tempting to just want to, instead of going to bed at a decent hour, it's very tempting to want to sit down at the computer and start editing, but I really need to just focus on, okay, you filmed today, you did a lot today. Tomorrow you can do editing. You might even post a video at night if you get one done. Um, but I definitely, you know, I feel like it prevents me from getting burnt out, from getting overwhelmed. If I really just say, okay, on Tuesday, I'm gonna film and on Wednesday, I'm gonna take that day to edit. Cause when I try to cram it all into one day, it doesn't work. Number two, more photos for my Instagram grid. Take photos ahead of time and schedule via Facebook business manager. I'm still trying, <laughs> I'm still struggling, but I'm still trying to do this, to really take photos ahead of time rather than, all right, I need a photo today. Let me, let me just pull it out of, you know, you know, you know where. Um, <laughs> so I'm really, I, I need to keep working on that. And then learn how to make better slash more engaging TikToks. Keep practicing and look at what others are doing. Also, I can utilize color coding to help me organize my content and my planner. So it's cool to look at that because I did try color coding and maybe I'll try it again, but for right now, I just don't, it's just not what I want to do. Um, and learning how to make better slash more engaging TikToks. That also goes for reels because they're pretty much the same damn thing at this point. Um, I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job at that. I'm not creating as many as I want, but I definitely like, sometimes I'll scroll at night and I'll hear a sound or I'll see an effect or something I'm like, ooh, I, I know how I can use that to make my own type of video. And I'll write that down. Like I'll write down an idea. Um, so it's not just like sporadic, like, oh, I'm gonna make this real, real quick. Like sometimes I really, I actually like plan it out ahead of time. Not always, but sometimes. Because sometimes I'll think of an idea for a reel or something, but I'm not, I don't have the energy or I don't have the time to do it right then, but I'll write it down so I can do it later. And then I didn't fill out the rest of it and that's okay. And I just want to show you the end of April because I think it's even worse. Yeah, I literally did one. <laughs> hey, look, we can't beat ourselves up. Sometimes this is just what you get. But I did want to, to highlight this. So what did you accomplish this last month? I think this is like out of all of these for me, I think this is the most important. Um, over 11,000 impressions on YouTube, over 900 views this month, gained 24 subscribers, 99.5 hours of watch time, almost 100, passed 100 streams on the podcast, gained 28 followers on Instagram, Gained 69 nice followers on Pixels and Planners Instagram. So I think it's good to, like I said, highlight your accomplishments and really just focus on the good and focus on what you did accomplish and not what you didn't. And so that's all I did for the monthly there. And then obviously now we're in June, but I can go back and flip through this month of May and fill this out. And I am going to take the time to do that a little bit later. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to kind of share with you guys my thought process, how I've been using my passion planner. I, I'm i loving my passion planner. Um, I feel like it's so nice for me to have a separate spot to track all this stuff because it does take up a lot of my time. It is a passion project. So it's what I, you know, I really love doing it like when I, have free time I like to film videos I like to take pictures of my planners and stuff and it's it's something I really like to focus on so having a separate planner has just worked out so well and the passion planner just couldn't be more perfect um so I'm so glad that I got this and I'm so excited to to keep using it and to see how I end up using it in the future I'm sure that probably by the end of next month I'll have different ideas and things that work and things that didn't. So let me know if you enjoyed this video, if you'd like to see more in the future. Um, and I will be doing some plan with me's uh, when I actually am like using stickers and washi and making it pretty. And also some plan with me's that are just functional. No stickers, maybe a little bit of washi, but just sitting down and planning out the week of, okay, I'm going to film this on this day and edit and blah, 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 blah. 
Um, and then this video is going to go up this day. So just, you know, let me know. Your comments really help me know, you know, what to keep doing, what to kind of focus my energy on, uh, what you guys are enjoying. So thank you so much for your support. Again, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you have not. Follow me on Instagram at Planet with Cast. Check out my podcast, Pixels and Planners. My Patreon in the description. All that good stuff. All kinds of stuff down in the description box. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time.